Hi everyone and welcome to the Call of Duty Modern Warfare Gunfight Alpha. So this is 2 vs 2 mode uh, and the Alpha dropped out a little bit early so I did take some time uh, to play this thing. Um, so firstly I played with some friends uh, just to get back into the swing of things with the controller because it's been quite a while since I have played any shooter on the controller and be aware there will be some fails in here some bad plays um, there's actually no standard to this gameplay at all <laughs> I just wanted to show you uh, what it's like graphically um, I don't think you can expect too much more out of it at the end of the day uh, but we will I guess we will see that when the, the game full releases. Will I buy it myself? I don't know yet. Um, we'll have to see. Uh, I'm not sure, honestly. Uh, I have my doubts. I have my uh, my history with COD, I guess. Um, but yeah, I try to treat every new COD uh, as a new opportunity for the game to win me back, right? But that's not the topic of today. We want to talk about this alpha, about the 2v2 mode. And uh, first, let me start off with... It, it's not bad. <laughs> it's fun. Uh, it's definitely fun when you're playing with friends especially. Uh, you can have a good time. And that is always the good thing, right? So the first evening uh, we played this we had our difficulties uh, especially my friends were reporting like uh, they were not able to join each other's lobby and they just couldn't launch the game or they were just uh, in the menu and nothing happened uh, and that stuff is annoying that is true um, that really takes a little bit of wind out of the sails um, and yeah, I had my troubles joining a party or a lobby for myself as well. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it's kind of expected though, right? Uh, honestly, first because it is an alpha and secondly, it's hot, dude, come on. Um, when did we ever have a smooth alpha? Did we ever have an alpha? I don't know. But also the betas. Uh, and look, that's not only caught, honestly. Battlefield was like that as well. Um, where the betas really had their issues. And, um, well, Battlefield is a whole other story um, with the releases and how buggy they were, right? But let's not dive too deep into that. Uh, let's stay on topic here, or kind of on topic, I guess. <laughs> So yeah, I've, inc I've included two full matches in this video. I doubt I will be talking throughout everything. Um, maybe, we will see. Uh, it's about 14 minutes, I guess. So yeah, most important, what did I like? Um, I like the movement, honestly. The normal boots on the ground movement. There is a slide in there, which you can chain into a jump, which uh, is something I do like. And other than that, it's pretty straightforward. It's it's old school cut, to be honest, um, in terms of movement. In terms of gunfights, those are on the quicker side of things, I guess. The time to kill didn't feel too long. Um, almost not too long, actually, for my liking, right? So when... Um, let's take the shotgun here. Uh, two shots on... The range on that thing is in... Phew, out of this world. But yeah, we know that. We, know, we all remember the Remington and stuff from Black Ops 2, right? Uh, so I'm not too concerned about it right now. That is stuff that you can always fix, gun balance and stuff. Um, it's never good uh, in an alpha state. <laughs> That's just the way it is. It's hard to balance things out if you don't have data on how people play with it, right? So I do understand that, uh, and that's not a bad thing. Uh, it's just, um, yeah, the gun battles felt 
pretty good, I have to say. Uh, as I said, Time to Kill was a bit on the fast side. Uh, maybe, is it like ghosts? Sometimes it feels like ghosts, sometimes it, uh, it feels like Modern Warfare 3-ish. Um, but I think, uh, yeah, that's not too bad. Um, yeah, since Black Ops 3 and 4 had a little bit of a higher time to kill, um, even Black Ops 2, to be honest, um, which I, is something I do like a lot, um, but it's... I'm looking forward to this. It might be fun. It might be perfect with the time to kill. Um, I really have to see. <laughs> I'm really curious now what you guys are thinking. Uh, I know some of my friends like the faster time to kill. Others like me prefer the slower ones. Uh, it, it really it depends, especially on on your enemies and and yourself and your daily form and stuff. And we can go on and ramble a lot more. What other things did I like? Um, I actually like that they put in like five maps for this. Uh, yes, they are very small maps, of course, and it's probably not that much of an effort. Um, or too much of a spoiler, I guess, to show five maps since they are so small anyways. And they are, I guess, not in the multiplayer other than gunfight. Um, so, I guess it's fine. I actually appreciated that there were five maps. Uh, honestly, Doc's the one that you see in this and the next match was that one that came up the most. Um, which is fine. I, uh, I like this map. For what it was, I did like it. So, <laughs> we had our fun on it. Um, there were one or two maps that Give were pretty nasty to play but at the end or in the end uh i guess it doesn't really matter right <laughs> oh boy <laughs> uh, so yeah what i didn't like is something you see right here this uh getting shot and then the screen goes black and white and your sound is messed up that makes it really hard uh to react to footsteps and stuff um We'll have to see if they turn that down or not. Um, which brings me to another positive. Uh, the footsteps were actually um, good. Uh, you were able to pinpoint pretty much where your enemy is, which is something that is important for me. Um, yeah. Then I thought I wouldn't like that there is no minimap in this. Um, so I think that will be in multiplayer as well, where you only have a minimap when you actually have a UAV in the air, which uh, I thought to myself, that's going to be bad. Um, in a 2v2 with the sound as it is, it's actually not that bad, guys. You're able to manage, uh, you're, ma you're able to manage it pretty well. Um, which is good, which is uh, actually necessary, right? Uh, if, this, if the sound w wouldn't be what it was, uh, I think I would have wished my, the minimap back more. In this case, I did not really miss it too much, to be honest. Um, yeah, the sound was just on point. And if you're playing with your friends, you can call pos enemy positions. Um, anyways to each other right so that is not that much of a problem in the 2v2 in the general multiplayer i'm not really sure um i guess we will see once uh, a beta drops for that or when the full game drops we will have to see <laughs> i think it has one really good play in here uh, in this match i think i managed this only once throughout the time I've played and that is to get both guys in the final kill cam uh, not the final kill cam but the end of the round kill cam uh, which I was, did enjoy quite a bit <laughs> that was really awesome and yeah so what else did I not like um, the color scheme is still a little bit on the 
grey brown green ish sides uh the standard old school cut colors i guess i don't know it doesn't look uh as washed up um but the, i don't know man it's just a lot of gray brown and green and yeah well they sprinkled some yellow in and the details and windows and stuff the glass and it's not as bad as it once was i guess but i don't know maybe i do i <laughs> I don't know, are they waiting for the PS5 to actually upgrade the graphics drastically, or... I don't think we did hit uh, the max what the PS4 can handle, to be fair. Especially the PS4 Pro if you have that one. But I, I digress again! Oh my days! <laughs> uh, yeah. Other points that I liked or disliked, there's not much, honestly. Uh, utility, like grenades, Semtex, throwing knives are there, flashbangs, concussion grenades. There's a whole lot, um, and nothing seemed to be too strong for the 2v2 mode. Um, so if you, if you get a hit marker uh, and throw a grenade, you have a good chance to kill the dude, which is absolutely fine, right? And if you stick him with a Semtex, yeah, that should be a kill. Um, I think melee from the front is uh, a two-hit KO, which is... <laughs> I did not see that guy there. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. I just remembered that. That was. I was like, where the hell did that dude come from? Oh, he was sitting there and I ran past him. Didn't see him. That happens to me all the time, guys. That's not a big deal, <laughs> to be honest. Whoops. Uh, yeah. Where was I? I completely lost track of where I was. I'm sometimes, man. Oh, yeah, the grenades. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it didn't seem too overpowered. Uh, it seemed perfectly fine, which uh, is always something I do like. Um, I hate nade spam. But I also hate it when you have no uh, incentive to use your nades, right? Your nades should be either for tactical means or for cleaning up stuff or for tacking up stuff if you want to uh, get some damage in pre-gunfight. Um, that's where I want the utility strongness or end effectiveness to be. Um, we will see how they will manage this in the in the final game and stuff, right? I'm getting way ahead of myself here. But yeah, at the time I was playing, I thought it was perfectly fine. And honestly, that's okay. That's perfectly fine. Uh, I'm sure it will get fine-tuned and changed upon multiple times like it always gets. But hey, at least they did a pretty decent job. Um... So yeah, we can't really get too much out of this 2v2 mode for the, the multiplayer. And, oh yeah, that's the kill cam where both dudes were ended up in, uh, which I really celebrated. <laughs> Shout out to the two guys that were in my lobby there. Those were two random guys. Never met them before. Had everyone muted and... All I was talking was like a GG at the end of the game and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, thank you for the game, guys. So yeah, the 2v2 mode was fun. Uh, I guess that's the most important thing. And I will play it some more. And I think next week is another uh, weekend uh, with a beta, but also with a 2v2 mode. But I guess I will play with more friends then, which is also a very good thing. So yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, take care. Bye.